Meanwhile, down the road in El Paso, the UTEP football program has an entirely different feel to it after the Miners fired head coach Dana Dimmel after six seasons on Sunday. All talk has now turned to finding Dimmel's replacement. Maybe it's one of these four gentlemen here. Sources told KTSM that athletic director Jim Center has set a timeline of two weeks or less for getting a new coach in the door. The NCAA transfer portal officially opens for recruiting next Monday. Early signing day is December 20th, so it would behoove UTEP to move as quickly as possible. KTSM has also learned that UTEP has plans in the work to boost its NIL funding. Currently, there is no collective for the football program, but that is likely soon to change. There are also some new facility upgrades in the works, including locker room improvements. All of that could help sway a new coach in coming to UTEP. Former Miners kicker Gavin Beckley knows exactly what he wants in the Miners next hire. This is what I think that they, they should do all the time in like lower non-power five is bring in young coaches, exciting coaches that are that'll bring in and light up with good high power offenses and hard hitting defenses and everything rather than just just older guys who are kind of stuck in their way. Young guys like Mac Leftwich and Tony White could fit the bill. Sources told KTSM that they are interested in the job. We'll see what the next few days and weeks bring for UTEP. Meanwhile, the season over and with it, it's transfer portal time already. A number of important UTEP players have entered the portal. KTSM has confirmed that defensive backs Tyler Williams, Kobe Hilton, Trez Moore and Elijah Johnson, wide receiver Justin Clark, offensive lineman Justin Mayers and long snapper Justin Duff are all in the portal. Expect more to be added before next Monday.